Judicial Watch has a lawsuit um, trying to compel uh, a, a damage assessment. Um, well, we had a lawsuit. Well, we had a lawsuit, <laughs> right. Well, this is another interesting issue. So when you have good reason to believe classified information has been spilled, right. you know, made public or otherwise put at risk that it's likely to have been uh, 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 somehow compromised, uh, you're supposed to conduct a damage assessment to see if there's been any damage to national security as a result of this compromise, potential or otherwise, of, the, of classified information. And of course, recently we had uh, revelations that the Chinese had hacked Clinton's email server. Uh, Judicial Watch had reason to believe and shared it with the FBI, but Peter Strzok and his team did nothing with it, uh, that the Russians may have hacked her server. So that would have warranted a damage assessment. Uh, they didn't want to do that under the uh, Trump administration, under the Obama administration. Well, you know, so we asked the Trump administration, are you going to do a damage assessment? James Comey said he assumed, he, even James Comey assumed that her system had been compromised. Uh, this Justice Department, this State Department, the Director of the Office of National Intelligence, uh, who is now uh, Senator Coates, uh, former senator from Indiana, uh, they don't want to do a damage assessment. They don't think they should be required to do a damage assessment. And in successfully fighting our lawsuit, at least at the lower courts, said they, uh, that what Hillary did wasn't uh, the compromise of national security information wasn't serious enough to warrant a damage assessment. Again, outrageous in light of, I know what the president believes about this. He's quite public about it. But this is the deep state unthinkingly letting her, uh, well, in many ways quite um, uh, uh, with uh, r really uh, thinking it through in terms of letting her get away with it. But these political appointees like Coates and uh, what, what is he thinking? Is he out to lunch on this? That he's going to let Hillary Clinton uh, put all this information on the public equivalent of a, uh, the internet equivalent of a public park bench and not do a damage assessment? I mean, we know that there were nearly 24 documents that had the most, the highest security rating in terms of classified information. And they're not doing anything to figure out what damage has been done to the United States as a result of her uh, leaving it out in the wide open internet-wise. In, in our lawsuit um, that we had filed, and I think it was, it was last year that we had tried to force this uh, damage assessment, we had referenced um, Comey's statement from 2016 where he had said, that from the group of 30,000 emails returned to the State Department, 110 emails in 52 email chains um, had been determined to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. Eight were top secret, 36 chains contained secret information, eight contained confidential. Um, so, I mean, it, it does seem like uh, there's a bit of an issue there. And we found more since then. And we found more since and, then. And uh, they were on Wiener's laptop. Right. So did they figure out whether they were compromised by Wiener's laptop? Uh, we know what Anthony Wiener was into. He was, um, uh, was, was uh, uh, involved in uh, sexual escapades with underage people and uh, doing odd things on the internet. Which he's currently in jail for. Oh, yeah, he's in jail for it. You know, I think the American people are right to demand justice here. And I don't know whether she should be ultimately prosecuted or not. I mean, I have an idea, you know, I, I do know what I think should be done. <laughs> but I think we all want just a fair uh, pro uh, investigation, one that isn't tainted by politics. I want the Justice Department to take their thumbs off the scale, stop protecting her and do a, an adequate investigation. So outside of the, uh, outside of the, the damage assessment that, that we want, um, what, does a, what does a new or honest or open or redone investigation, what does, that, what does that look like? Well, we know from the Mueller investigation what a real investigation <laughs> looks like. Grand juries, yeah. plea agreements, indictments. People being put under oath and being held You'd accountable know if, if it's they a lie. serious investigation. Yeah. I mean, we found out, Judicial Watch found out there are grand juries in the Clinton email matter uh, through FOIA. Uh, we're still trying to get documents about what was going on in that FBI investigation. 
Uh, but again, this FBI, I think, has turned over. Um, of every, for every document they turn over, they withhold one. Yeah. So there's a lot of material we don't know about. So we have uh, a, a federal court hearing com coming up, I believe, on October 11th related to some of these. Uh, next month now, yeah. Next month. Related to some of these, uh, related to some of these issues, um, what what's the what's that hearing trying to resolve? What are the different motions that we have? What are we trying to get? Well, there are several issues that we're trying to resolve, but the most important one for the purposes of this uh, program is that Hillary Clinton, as I said earlier, uh, was required to answer certain questions under oath uh, to Judicial Watch about the creation and use of her email system. But there were several questions she refused to answer under oath and, is, and objected to it, which is a right under law, but we have a right to compel her. So we're fighting about compelling her to answer more questions under oath, uh, generally speaking about why she continued to use or created the system despite warnings from security officials about the dangers inherent in her activities uh, in terms of national security. So Mrs. Clinton, uh, presumably her lawyers, were per will be there arguing in the court uh, why she shouldn't have to answer these questions. But isn't it unbelievable that it's this one private organization that has, has Hillary Clinton uh, uh, at least being held to account to a certain extent personally in court? Justice Department isn't doing it. In fact, I think they object to one of the, uh, uh, our efforts to compel her. And certainly Congress isn't doing anything either. So, I mean, we've covered a lot of ground here. I think we've we've done a pretty a pretty good job of shedding some light on all of the different sort of things that Judicial Watch is trying to do, and sort of obviously the gaping holes in terms of what the Justice Department and FBI probably should be doing. What what do you kind of see happening next? Do you have a prediction in terms of what's going to happen at federal court, or what this Justice Department or FBI is going to do, and I mean, what, what do you see Jeff Sessions doing? What do you see Christopher Ray doing? What do you see these agencies doing? Oh, I think uh, if they, they, what they hope to do is just weather the storm. You know, more information is going to come out about the misconduct and the cover-up of the Clinton email scandal uh, by the Justice Department, the FBI, and probably the Obama White House. And they're hoping no one asks, like Judicial Watch asks. They don't want the media asking this question. They don't want Congress asking this question. Why are you not doing anything about what went on here? Are you going to let Hillary Clinton get away with it? I mean, I think that's like the core question. Are you going to let Hillary Clinton get away with it? General Sessions should be asked this. The FBI director should be asked this. Other appropriate officials at the Justice Department should be asked this repeatedly. What are you doing about what Hillary Clinton did? And again, it's not just uh, the Clinton emails because we're suing on Uranium One. We're still fighting the administration uh, the State Department and Justice Department on Benghazi information as it relates to Hillary Clinton. Uh, we're uh, uh, fighting on uh, this issue about her conflicts of interest at the Justice Depar at the State Department, where uh, Bill Clinton was getting all this money in uh, uh, through his speaking fees from foreign governments and corporations and such. And you know, she didn't uh, she didn't recuse herself from anything over there as a result. Uh, where, where's the corruption investigation there? Why isn't there anything being done? And while at the same time they're going full bore after President Trump with this outlandish, out of control investigation uh, created through corrupt means uh, and uh, the very basis of it is corruption with Strzok and Page and having insurance policies and such. So the Justice Department is going full bore against President Trump while going full bore protecting Hillary Clinton. Uh, astonishing. If you want to know if the deep state works or is an operation, uh, you just have to see what's happening with Hillary Clinton and what's happening with President Trump in terms of investigations. And just seeing sort of the level of seriousness that's being given to the Clinton investigation versus the Trump one. It's disparate impact, disparate treatment, and uh, the justice system, the Justice Department, they have zero credibility, as far as I'm concerned, with pretty much all political investigations, or investigations touching on any politician, until they f figure out a way uh, to clean this mess up as it relates to Trump and Clinton.